Okay, guys, so this uh, uh, lecture we will optimize on the configuration of this software cluster, the backend storage of our, our crossword cluster. Okay, so uh, let's do that. The first step that I will do is to connect on the console, okay, go the CLI. So do that quickly. And, uh, I have the IP address of my uh, node hyperweather one of the, of the Cosmos cluster. Okay. Okay, we went on this uh, or the first on the first node. So the first thing to do is I will show you the current cluster map. Okay, I will show you a current cluster map. Here it is. Okay, so let's suppose that uh, we both nodes in the reality and the real world are on the same chassis. Okay, the uh, uh, host one, two, and three are on the chassis one. Okay, but here in the current current cluster uh, cluster map, we don't have uh, this uh, chassis represented here. Okay, this is an issue. Okay, because when you shut down the, the whole chassis, it should be uh, reflected uh, here in the self uh, OSD, uh, OSD or self cluster map. So you will update this cluster map in order to have uh, to let Self know that uh, this uh, particular node is inside a chassis, and this chassis also is inside a rack, for instance. Okay, it should be it's very flexible, and once this uh, cluster map will be updated. You will uh, all, at the second step. You will have the 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 crash map, okay? To take uh, to say that uh, the failure domain of this specific hole will not be anymore on the host level, but it should be at chassis level, simply, okay? So let's do that rapidly. I will create the. Uh, map so that is that I'm defining the different variable okay the different buckets I will suppose that I have a run room and uh, in this room I have two racks okay I have two work racks and uh, I have uh, three chassis Okay, I have three chassis right now. Let me show you. So here is how the configuration is going. Once done that, okay, we can move on. The old variable has been defined. Right now, I will have to update my my uh, cluster map. Right now, let's say that. Uh, Data center, and uh, we have uh, this data center is uh, this one, and uh, we have the both rooms. Uh, the both rack are in the same room, rack one and rack two. Okay, so here the both rack are on the same, same room okay and uh, the chassis one okay the chassis one the chassis uh, one the chassis b are on the rack one okay it is a chassis sample okay. so the chassis one and the chassis two and the chassis two are on the rack one again okay and uh, the chassis uh, c is in the rack two 
Great. Okay. Now let's move to a different host. Okay. A different blade. Okay. Uh, into the, I see. I consider the, the the host one. The A one booster is inside of the chassis one. Okay. Simply. And the Things the blade, the blade or the, the host A2 in the chassis uh, one or chassis A, okay. And the other same thing, so the blade A3 or host A3 in the chassis uh, A, okay. Next, let's uh, uh, move over oh, oh, oh. the blade. The blade B one to the chassis B and uh, the B two in the chassis B. Okay. Mm, I might have uh, the. I don't have uh, the. I have only uh, two uh, B one B two. Okay. And uh, for the last one. Okay, the last one, which is of the C1, I mean the C1, okay, the three on the chassis C. Okay, great. So now let's review, let's uh, show again our cluster map. Beautiful. Okay, so now we have this topology, this our physical topology uh, is. Uh, our cluster map reflects our physical topology definitively. Okay, so now we can move on. So the first steps that we have to do when you have any uh, any self cluster in production, we have to update your cluster map. Uh, it should reflect your physical topology in your environment. Okay, so next step after done that, uh, we have to edit the crash map. Okay, okay, we have to edit the crash map. Why? Because uh, let me show you here in the regarding the configuration of our current uh, current uh, yeah, look at here okay this crash tool this one okay the schedule domain is at host level okay it's at host level so that means that uh, even here for regarding the, the, the replica size the replica size has been configured to four or three, for instance. Okay, this means that uh, at one moment you can have uh, four copies, or no, uh, if the replica size is different at the uh, host level and there are three or uh, three year uh, three year uh, uh, replica. Okay, at one moment you can have three copies of the data on the same chassis, and this and if this chassis goes down automatically you will uh, experience the failure within your cluster okay you, you can you really experience it you will, you will see uh, some inevitability uh, data uh, in your cluster okay so to reverse that you can now uh, have the cluster say that for this particular pool for instance or for this for the pool that use this uh, role i want that uh, i want that the failure domain goes from host to a chassis Simply, very simple. Okay, so we will do that right now. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so let's go back on here. So I will download the the current self crash map. Okay, so this is the first action. So download the crash map. I I will convert it. It's in binary, okay. Once done that, let's uh, update all the content and say that. And I will change the failure domain from host to chassis, okay. Yeah, I will go from host to chassis. chassis. Okay, I can if I want also for, hmm, let me do, 
SAP for this one also. Uh, if you have, I can let it like that, okay? But it's up to you, okay? You can change the whatever you want. You can change the, the different rule, the failure domain of the different rule, okay? And uh, after done that, let's just say this for X. Yeah. And now I have to. Yeah, let me convert uh, it in binary. Okay, so after I've done that, so I can import uh, before I import. Okay, let me uh, right now my uh, yeah, what's one thing so I would like to show you. Okay, Steph. Uh, so I will show, show you the pages, okay? Uh, for this one, uh, let me show you the pages, the pointer status of the pages. Okay, so we have a four the replica, uh, the replica value is, uh, is a uh, four, okay, right now, okay? If you remark, uh, because of the replica size is four, if I when I will change the failure domain from uh, host to chassis, I will uh, have some. Uh, I will have the the pole will be on the size. Okay, we show we will show you. That is because of Seth would like her to change to 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 have at least uh, four chassis to be to have uh, the this pole active and clean. Okay, as we have only three chassis. Uh, you have some more a warning on the pool, okay? Warning, not in availability, but what just one you say that uh, you don't have enough chass chassis to uh, to meet uh, this uh, number of replica, okay? So we'll have this the replica size from four to three. Okay? So let's import it just for uh, a parenthesis. Okay, so that is that. Yeah, and once done that, see what will happen. You see, we want to have a four, four replica, and uh, it is not possible just because uh, we have only three chassis. Okay, so the, the pool will be on the size. Okay, again, the different pages, it will be on the size. Okay. Just wait a moment when everything will be uh, stabilized. You see here, okay, it is on the side. Complete all those one will be on the side. Okay. That's because we have, you say that the failure domain is at ch chassis level and uh, we have only three chassis at the moment, okay? So it will not be possible for self to meet those requirements, yeah. Just show you why we have at the moment. For this particular pool, you see that we need a four copy, okay? And uh, and uh, the, the rule that you use is uh, the replicated rule, okay? We replicated age in the rule. And for this rule, we have this the failure domain from host to ch chassis. And we have only one, only three chassis in the self cluster, okay?
Okay, there are only three chassis, this one, this one, and this one, okay? And the failure domain is at our chassis level. And you see that replica will be three. So based on this sort of configuration, you will see single, uh, okay? The cluster will be on one separate. Yes, we have one hundred and sixty remark pages. Okay. Just wait a moment. Okay, I don't want to wait a too long time. So this statue so will be a uh, half data because uh, at the moment of the set we will uh, see that of the regarding the replica, uh, the number of replica, okay, that has been a. Uh, let me show you. Find that. Let me be case, let me take you case of this one. Okay, if this one the OSD one, the OSD one is here in the chassis one. The OSD ten is uh, in the chassis uh, B, and the OSD fifteen, chassis C, and the OSD four. The OSD four is on the chassis. Okay, this is not normal. Okay. It's not normal, so this session will be updated uh, soon. As you can see, Here is the, the good stage also regarding the pages use this one, okay? So the, the initial, the current value and the target value, okay, are okay, okay? But here, the, the current configuration and the target configuration has missed, uh, are not the same, okay? It just means that something's on, uh, something is going right now and it's not finished in the self-cluster right now, okay? So I don't want to take too long time. So I will just have the of the, so go ahead. I will just have data of the, the number of replica just to go ahead and uh, to save time. Okay, we don't have many times here. Obviously, I will come back to three. Okay, and uh, the, uh, the minimum size or PG size will be, um, let's start to, to Okay, so that means that you need at least two chassis uh, alive in the cluster to be able to write to into this uh, pool. Okay, this this is the meaning of this uh, of this configuration. Let's uh, let now and let's see uh, what will happen. That uh, yeah, now it is a uh, bit right now. Okay. Okay, it's definitely all pages are active and clean. Okay. 
Okay, so now this is the first step of configuration. This is very good. The, our, we have updated the cluster map, we have updated all the, um, uh, the, the cluster map and all the crash map. Okay, the box one has been updated successfully, and we have also updated all the, the number of replica of a phone. Okay, so the next step that we have to, to, to deal with is all the number of monitor within the. Okay, so thank you very much and see you in the next lecture. Bye from now.